Hey there, fishing girl. Down at the beach, I bought a new reel that I'm gonna try out. Uh, I saw this in uh, Rad Reeling's video. It's an Ozark Trail 4000 reel. It's um, it's a partially sealed reel, not fully sealed, um, but full body metal um, reel. And uh, so I got that spooled up at the Fish Bites Trading Post earlier today. And uh, even though I don't really have much time to fish, I really wanted to test it out today. So I'm taking it down to Flagler Beach. So excited because I have not fished on Flagler Beach in forever. It's been, a, <laughs> it's been a long time. But I don't have my cart with me. I just have the one rod, one uh, sand spike. I've got um, my tackle bag, camera stuff, and a cooler and a bleeding bucket so i mean i still have a lot of stuff but i don't need to bring my whole cart down for this for just one rod so if i catch any fish that's going to be a bonus but i'm testing out this reel to see how it feels see how it works it was only around 55 dollars, so it's a low cost reel that's that's pretty well sealed i think so i'm hoping that it works out good we'll see how it goes let's get to fishing before I get out there, I want to just see the condition of where I'm going. I can get down those stairs all right. Uh, we got some people. Got a guy fishing down there. Let's see. So I don't want to encroach on his territory, you might say. Um, yeah. But I don't want to be set up right in front of these other people either. So maybe I'll come right here. It doesn't look like the best spot, but I'm not looking for best spot. I might go over there. There's a break in the waves there. I'm seeing lots of little clam shells. I'm seeing lots of purple. So if I don't have if I don't have a rig that's already set up with purple beads, that's what I'm gonna be using. All right, so here's this reel. Let me let you get a look at it. This is the Ozark Trail, Walmart's brand, 4,000. I've got it, I've got 15 pound high visibility mono on it, but there are, this is full metal body. There's 13 seals in here. The bearings, there's um, three plus one. Here's the ratings on it. Gear ratio, five to one to one. And then line capacity. You can see this is this is braid rating. So I could only fit about 115 yards of mono on it. Get this out, get this prepared here. But I'm tightening it down so I can cast. We'll see how this feels. The water has definitely cooled down. pretty smooth. I'm going to set my drag. Something jumps on there. Leave it out a bit and then we'll test it. So there's our pier. You can see it's, it's broken off at the end. I've really missed fishing at Flagler Beach. Really have here's the other side yeah we've got rocks up here I don't know if they just put those in or those have been there and got uncovered but <laughs> lots of rocks we got debris right behind me on the shore here so we're gonna watch and see what happens here with this okay did a little live report for a couple minutes our water temperature is really cooled down. I didn't realize it until, I mean, I could tell by how cool it felt on my feet, but. Um, until I looked at Magic Seaweed, I didn't realize, wow, it's, it's uh, 77 degrees. Last time I fished, it was 83 degrees. So that has really cooled down. I'm gonna reel it in and it just a little bit to the right here. Seems like some better structure, possibly. It's really not the greatest spot right here, but there's so many people around. Oh, got something. As long as it's 
that's not a catfish. <laughs> it's a catfish. There he is, a little tiny dude. I'm gonna send him back. I'm throwing him way out there. <laughs> I don't want him coming back at me. Okay, so that guy there, I asked him if he had any luck and he said every cast he's getting something. So he, he said he's leaving in a few minutes and I can have this spot because he's catching something every cast just about. So I'll throw off to the right here until he leaves. All right, something just hit my line. Let's see what we got here. This is the 15 pound mono, so it's really not. He just caught a whiting. And then my line got caught, so there's probably a school going through. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a good whiting. Sweet, I'm taking that guy home. So we cut right through the gills. Let's let him loop lead. You wanna do that while his heart's still beating. I'm gonna bleed out all of that, all the blood. Then the next step is we remove the internal organs. Thank you. And we just wanna get that out of there to make sure this meat's gonna be really good quality. We wanna get this right back out there. On. I don't think I have anything, but I just went live in the uh, Fishing Girl, the official Fishing Girl community. I, I literally just announced yesterday that the community is available. We've got a couple ladies already registered, already coming in and having fun and just getting to know the other women in the community. So, yeah, not then, but I'm going to reset. We had all these legs off, so that's why it wasn't staying put. I couldn't tell if there was a fish on there or if there was just slack in the line. So let's toss this back out and tighten my drag while I cast and then I'll loosen it back up. Oh, here we go. Whatever it is, it's, it's fighting. Use this wave to bring it in. Come on. Oh man, I lost it. Uh, must have washed, lost it in the wash. How much time do I have? Three minutes. Okay, Lord, I have three minutes to catch another fish before I need to leave. Uh, just want one more fish. Isn't that how we always are, though? Just one more fish, please. Just we stay as long as we possibly can. Just one more fish. <laughs> just five more minutes. Oh, it infuriates my husband because I'm always like, pushing it to the last possible second that I have to pack up. <laughs> Just one more fish. Just five more minutes. Here we go. Let's see. Make sure he's really on there. Oh yeah. He's there. I'm getting him this time. I'm not losing him. Keep the tension on the line. All oh, this I know. Get him through the wash. There he is. Oh yeah, another whiting. Yay! It's 
not, it's a little smaller than the last one, but still a whiting. Hey, dude. Another bit on the black beads with a sand flea. I wonder if there's sand fleas around. Um, because of that, I'm going to put sand flea on the top one, and I know I said one more fish, and now I'm staying for the next one more fish. I gotta bleed this guy out, right? So I might as well be fishing while I bleed this guy out. And maybe we'll catch something else while that guy's bleeding out. Of course, then I'll have to bleed that one out. So I might as well throw it back out while that one's bleeding out. I may never leave the beach today. Okay, so it's 3.33. At 3.40, I will get everything together and leave. I got four minutes, four minutes. Three minutes. Come on, fishies. Okay, one more cast. I got three minutes left, so I can, I'll reel it in and cast again. One minute, see that? One more minute. All right, it's 340, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put this fish in the cooler, empty the bucket. I'll give me, what, 20 more seconds with, <laughs> with my line in the water. It's time. I'll just keep it rolling in case, just in case. Check that out. That looks like fun. Well, tiny little short trip. I was able to catch two whiting. I do like that reel, I think, for the money. For $55, I can't complain at all. Uh, seems to pair really nicely with that um, nine-foot rod, so I'm really happy with what I got. Yeah, I was able to catch a few fish in the meantime, so that's always a plus. I went live on YouTube, and I went live in our community, too, so ladies, if you want to join a community where, you know, I'm, there may be times where I go live there and I'm not going to go live on YouTube or in a group. And just because I want to give extra content for the people who are paying to be part of the community of Fishing Girls. So it's an extra perk, an extra thing that you have there. But if you like this content, push that like, smash the subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get alerted every time I go live on YouTube, every time that I post a video on YouTube. And as always, tight lines, God bless, and we'll see you, fishing girl.